How else about Papa was cracking it? Steve Boss reacts to his bed by lovely TTV. It's titled Jasmine Brown responds to Cam Newton admitting he cheated on her. I know who and what my man is. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, when did he admit to cheating on her? And why did he need to admit to it? Let's see what's happening. Let's watch. You guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about all the drama that's going on with Cam Newton and his baby mama, Jasmine Brown. This has been going viral over the weekend. Oh. So if you guys do not know, uh, recently Cam Newton did a <laughs> podcast me. with Corey Holcomb. And I did end up watching the entire podcast and I was low key waiting for when bits of the podcast would go viral because Corey was saying some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's Corey Holcomb, it's to be expected. Um, but one of the things that's going viral now, because this podcast came out a few weeks ago, Oh. is the conversation that he had with Corey about Jasmine Brown. So if you guys do not know, Jasmine Brown just had Cam Newton's, I think, eighth child. Mm. She's the comedian who went on that world tour talking about, you know, being a proud eighth baby mama. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So if y'all don't know, I'm the third one, and this is a sixth child. No, so I'm like, ooh, <laughs> could have been me? All right, so we're just putting that pressure on you. embarrassing because you're just admitting that you're <laughs> you're taking just the bottom of the barrel just because the person has money and you're accepting just whatever because he's throwing money at you that's embarrassing all right that's jasmine brown so what went down is basically during the episode of funky friday um corey holcomb was talking about how you know most wealthy men um, they're not faithful. They have options. They have multiple yeah, women. Cool. And so Cam ends up admitting during the podcast that he has slept with other women besides Jasmine when he's supposed to be in a relationship with Jasmine. So y'all go ahead and check this out real quick. Yeah. You are not going to tell me you up here for the one person. It's not going to happen. No, 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 no. See, you're trying to deflect back to me. <laughs> no, I would never do you like that. But, but, I got but respect for no. you. No, here. But you didn't answer that for a reason. No. Oh, his podcast. I Understand this. Cam's. He got a You didn't answer for a reason. I'm going to answer mine, and then I want you to answer mine, too. I will answer it, brother, and I promise you I won't bullshit with you. Okay. How long are you talking about? What you mean? <laughs> fucking one person. What do you mean, how long are you talking about? As long as I've been with Jazz... Jazz has not been the only person that I've had sex with. I don't know your situation. But, uh, uh, but I'm getting personal. Right. I so don't know since, your situation. Since you want to get, since you want to take it there. And this is the thing that Maybe has... Do you feel like I'm being disrespectful? No. Because I'm no, not trying to be disrespectful. No, no. As long as I've been with Jazz, Jazz has not been the only person that I've had sex with. Jazz allows me to speak to her and we are able to have banter. And I hate that I embarrassed her because no woman ever wants to admit that openly. It but what? I'm sorry. I want to that sure. their person has not always been with them. Mm -hmm. Only what has allowed us to begin to get closer in a relationship is that I don't feel that she judges my action. She holds me accountable to my action, and she asks me certain things that, yo, how can I do certain things to better so that this won't be a normalcy for you moving forward. I've never had nobody to really understand how I think. So Wait. there's been for you moving. Okay? Do certain things to better so that this certain things that, yo, how can I do certain things to better so that this won't be a normalcy for you moving forward? So who you cheat on her and she asks, <laughs> oh, this is goofy. She asks, how can I be better so that you don't continue to cheat on me? That's that's what she asks this man. It's one thing to have an open relationship and just be okay with your man doing whatever he wants to do. If that's, you know, your mindset and that's what you want to do, that's one thing. But it's an entirely different thing for you to not be okay with that. 
it's not the agreement that you entered into and you don't want them to step out and you ask them, how can I be a better woman for you so you can please stop cheating on me? That is embarrassing. Why would he even share that? Jesus. The the first part was enough. You even admitting, which I mean, we already assumed. <laughs> if you, but you, you don't even admit that you cheated on this woman. That's one thing. But you took it a step further and said this woman said, how can I be better so you could please stop cheating on me and this is not the normal for you moving forward what i've never had nobody to really understand how i think you ain't so there's been times down. where That's okay crazy. cool keeping it in the book me and jazz locked in where it's like yo are you okay no babe i'm feeling weak okay what does that mean now folks gonna sit up here and say oh she's stupid for doing that she's giving me something that this is my friend this is my confidant this is my person that i go to for recharge this is my place of refuge i'm going to her and i don't have to hide nothing from her and when i see the longevity of our relationship i know that it's working it's not that i'm taking advantage of her if anything she's giving me something that i've never had all right see i just heard what cam newton had to say so of course people started going over to jasmine's page and basically clowning her quote unquote checking on her mm -hmm. Social media had a lot to say about this situation. And so Jasmine finally he decided to, to respond. That. And this is her response. So Jasmine says, child, child, here come the just checking on you DMs. I am fine. Trust me. I know who and what my nigga is. Ain't no secrets or surprises. He can talk to me about anything. Why not just be single if you gonna cheat? I feel you. However, Men just be wanting to fuck. Once they do that, they're back to temporarily thinking straight. It's real ghetto out here. I get it. I don't blame y'all for wanting to be single. But if you spend enough time talking to men about this topic, you'll see that it's not as shocking as it. She doesn't sound like she's okay with this. I feel you. It's real ghetto out here. This doesn't sound like she's okay with this lifestyle. You are forcing it, sister girl. That's the problem. If she was okay with it, I'd be like, hey, girl, do your thing. Because people got different preferences. People live different lives, especially when you are dating men who are very rich and they got a lot of money, okay? It's a very different world. So people who have never had anything close to that, it's like, mm. <laughs> I, I kind of get her mindset in saying that like you, you just won't understand until you date someone who has a lot of money and they just they're not they're not faithful. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. They're just not that from my experience and from people I know their experience and everything that I've seen and everything that I've witnessed in all of my years living on this goddamn planet. It just from my experience. It seems that a lot of men who have a lot of money, they are not they're not faithful people. Okay, even the, the the best ones, the most religious ones, the, the the morally superior ones, they just anyway. So it's one thing to have the mindset and be like, hey, this is the life that I, I signed up for. This is what he gonna do, and be at peace with that, and actually be cool with being in that situation. There's a different thing for you to not be okay with that situation. You're letting us know that you're not okay with it. And, and he revealed to us that you're not okay with it. You don't want him to keep cheating on you. So you're just in this situation because he's throwing a few dollars at you. I would argue that's just not a good thing for your self-esteem, your self-worth, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but hey, girl, do you? It may seem, okay? So this is causing a lot of controversy on social media. All types of think pieces are on Twitter right now. Yeah, I gotta do it. But this to be honest like, with you, I'm not shocked with this situation. I'm I say this either. time and time again. Men who have money and power, they have options. I'm more so shocked that he's revealing all of this. <laughs> that's that's what's more more shocking to me. So if you're going into a relationship with somebody who has the status and money of a Cam Newton and you think he's going to be faithful, the joke's on you. Yeah. And she knows that. Yeah. She knew getting into the situation, the type of man that she had, because exactly Cam Newton hasn't That's been faithful to any of his baby mamas. Matter of fact, the last relationship he was in was because he was cheating and got somebody else pregnant. So Jasmine knows what she's getting out the deal. And to Jasmine, that's worth it to her. I mean, let's not forget this is the same woman who has bragged time and time again 
that she's uber submissive and there's nothing wrong with being submissive you know most men especially men with money they don't want some super feminist hardcore you know what i mean so there's nothing wrong with submitting to your man I think when that's it needs the opposite to make of, sense what does a submissive woman do for her man everything <laughs> what does that mean you know like packing his bag unpacking his bag um just making sure all oh, the things that he wants and like I, I pretty much read his mind so it's like if i know you and i study you like i know how you are in the morning i know how you are about midday i know when you're in this mood what you need like before you can ever cool. ask me for something i'm already on it She's i mean pretty. he's spoiled and you know when i talk to my girlfriends about it i was like oh how are you guys doing and i'm just like girl he's rotten I'm like, he's spoiled rotten. Like, he's rotten. But I love that. Like, I want him to be that. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining. But my love is my superpower. And I used to hate that about myself. But now it's like, I'm just embracing it. Like, that's who I am. Like, if I love you, I can heal you. It's I your joy. It is my joy. You know, I, I love to see him eating a meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic, but that's like, I just know. That's when I'm like, oh, I can stop that. That's not psychotic. But I find that's, joy in being your rep. That's just... Est. You know, so no. that's goofy to even say that. It's just like I'm doing something so special because I'm so in tune with him that I know. No, you can just use your hearing because, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, anyway, <laughs> you can just, you can hear their breathing changes, the pace changes. So that's not psychotic. You just use your, your hearing and you can hear that it's different. I know what that means, she, and, like and that, that works for us because <laughs> I just feel like she's trying too hard. This doesn't feel natural. It seems like she's trying, and this gives the definition of a pygmy. I feel like I've talked about this one before. I'm pretty sure because I've seen this clip in like another reaction video. I'm pretty sure I've said the same thing. So it, it just doesn't seem like this is a natural thing for her. Like she seems like she just wants to be picked, and she's a pygmy. And this is the same woman who was talking shit about these type of women in the past, and that's what also makes it uh, even that much more disingenuous. Is because you shitted on women who talk like this and act like this in the past and now look at you have to Whatever. offer what are you getting from all that you're giving what are you asking for in return to me she just sounds like she's doing all of the submitting and there's nothing in it for her outside of the lifestyle that he's able to provide her for and now. maybe that's all she wants maybe she's what? cool with that but i'm sorry the way these stds are out here floating around that would make me extremely nervous but what i find very interesting when these conversations come up you know, Cam is talking about how, you know, Jasmine is giving him something that he's never had. You know, we're locked in. She's a friend. She really understands me. Well, sir, what you're really saying is that this is the first time that you've been in a situation because this is not a real relationship to me. Um, this is the first time that you've been in a situation where you have the opportunity that. to freely cheat without consequences. That's really what this boils down to. She's the first person who allows me to cheat in peace, okay? She allows me to, you know, sling my schlong all throughout the neighborhood, and there's no consequences. There's no ramifications. So, again, if they like it, I love it. But to me, the situation is sad because what I notice is, later on in the conversation, because Corey's talking about all the women that he has. You know, he has a whole roster of women, and, you know, even though he's getting older, he's having to slow down, but he still has multiple women on deck. So Cam asks him, well, are these multiple women? Are they able to have multiple men and go do them? And Corey's answer right know. away is no. And that's the fucking problem. That's the T. <laughs> that's the T. And that's what you run into a problem with men like this. Because it's like, hmm, listen here. If you want to do you, then that is fine by me. Go live your life, okay? Spread your little wings and fly. <laughs> you know, okay, hey, who am I to tell you how to live your life? Go do what the fuck you want, all right? Cool, 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 cool. But you think I ain't about to do some shit too? You think I'm about to just be all oh, loyal to you, faithful to you, and I'm, oh, I'm sitting at home waiting while you fuck with other people? Excuse me, the, the, the rich men? Delusional. They're delusional. Of course not. They're not allowed to do them. You know? If they do them, they're gonna be in the in the rooster house or some shit. He says, "Y'all go ahead and check this out." Now, a part of the network, so to speak. How many women do you deem is enough for your network? I don't know. 
I mean, I'm I'm getting older. I'm slowing down. So, you know, the the um, what happens when you get older physically? You have to slow down. You can't keep up with all of them physically. But I'm here for you if you need my guidance. So with this network, right? Is it okay for the multiple women that you have in your network to also venture off to see other men? Hell no. You see other men. I ain't mad at you, but you get played like the girls who got other roosters in the hen house. I can't never tell you what to do. That, I'm saying as far as I go with that, if you match with other guys, you part of that category. I still got a spot for you. I always can find a spot for you, you know that? But you can't be in that upper echelon, you know what I mean? Let's talk about He's that. saying you're not going to get all the benefits. You're not going to get taken on the trips, and, you know, you're not going to to live in the house and get the car and get all of the, the top of the top perks if you're doing that. I'm going to just put you in the fuck box to where, okay, you want to fuck? Okay, cool. I, I might get you an Uber. <laughs> I might pay for a dinner here and there. You're going to get the, the the bare minimum if, if I know you got other men. So you got a lot. <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? If they want to play games and play you, this is, this is just advice out there. I'm not talking about nobody's life in particular. I'm just speaking in general terms, okay? Um, if you want to deal with uh, these men who have a lot of money, okay, you don't tell them what you're doing. Even they ask questions or whatever, you got la, 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 because they can't take it. They can't handle it. Even if they're slanging dick left and right and fucking whoever they want to do whatever they want to do they can't take if you even go on a dinner date with somebody if you even go to a fucking concert whatever you do with somebody else it might be very innocent it, it could be something very casual you might not even be actually sleeping with the man but they don't even like you being around other men like that but they are around bukus of women again delusional so what you got to do is a lie. I'm, I'm only giving general advice to people. That <laughs> if you ever want to dabble with the the men who have lots of means, okay, this is this is a different ball game. People who are just everyday people dating normal other people like you, this is not advice for y'all. That's totally different, okay. Let's use. Listen, you are listening. <laughs> uh, let's actively listen. I'm not talking about the typical average everyday person and typical average everyday men with average salaries or even a little bit above average salaries. Even men who have, you know, regular good money. I don't know. I'm talking men who got a lot of money. Ladies, if you ever come across <laughs> if you ever come across those type of men, but who got a lot of money, okay, like millionaire type men, those men, it's a different it's a different world out there. It's a different world with them. You gotta you gotta move different. You can't move how you move everybody else is different. Lie. Lie lie lie. Mark. lot because <laughs> they they don't operate in reality they're they don't live in this world that's what i'm saying i'm not i'm not speaking i'm just speaking in general terms like i said happens that often like i would say it's very rare out of a hundred men with power you might you might find two that only have one woman all right, so y'all just heard what Corey had to say. So it's very interesting that what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. Mm -hmm. And it's always like that. You know, the same thing with these dusty polygamous guys where they want to have all these so-called wives and women. Throw up. Okay, gross. Vomit. Don't ever deal with the dusty polygamous ones. The ones who ain't even got money. Just run in the opposite direction. Don't even bother. Now that's disgusting and should be a crime. <laughs> you ain't even got no goddamn money and you trying to juggle multiple bitches. You don't have the money to even buy. But then when the women say, well, damn, if you want to have all these chicks, let me go ahead and give me a side dude. And that in return is a problem to them because they don't want to think about other men sleeping with their women, but they should be allowed to sling their peen in other women. Like it's the hypocrisy of it. Mm -hmm. You know, he's okay with having all these multiple women and they better just expect the fact that he's gonna be a player player from the Himalayas for life, okay? <laughs> but they better not dip out and have side guys. They can have them, but they're gonna get moved down the roster or possibly altogether oh, cut out. Imagine oh, if Jasmine, who is a beautiful woman, by the gorgeous. way. Imagine if she was out and about after one of her comedy shows and some fine guy, you know, approaches her. You know, his body's on point, face, you know what I'm saying, looking good. Do you think that Cam Newton honestly would allow Jasmine to have a moment of indiscretion? Yeah, a lot, a lot, you think she lot. can just, oops, fall on somebody's dick? 
I think not. And that's the part that bothers me with these conversations. I'm all for open relationships. Whatever grown folks want to do in their relationship is their grown business. But my thing is, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Exactly. You want to run around here fucking everything that moves? That's fine. Exactly. But know that I owe you no faithfulness. I don't owe you anything. No Not that I'm going to be out here hoeing. But exactly. trust me, if I find somebody else that catches my eye, it's on and popping. Thank you. You know, so I think that that's the part that I think is just really Please. disingenuous because a lot of these so-called, you know, lax relationships, they're very one-sided. It's just, you know, the man can do whatever, but the woman better not. And I think what Jasmine needs to understand, and I get that, you know, she's a willing participant in this, but to me, I think the problem is she's holding on to a glimmer of hope. She's really hoping that eventually Cam will choose her. Yeah, that's the problem. And that's what makes this very embarrassing. If she was in this, like, hey, I'm in it for the benefits. And then, you know, I'm going to, you know, have a good time, enjoy my life. And, you know, hey, ride this out until it's over, whatever. That's a totally different mindset. I'm like, all right, girl, live your life. But she got a baby with this man, and she wants to be chosen by this man. She wants to be married to this man. It's very clear in the, all the clips that I've seen over time. That's embarrassing because the, look at what you're dealing with, girl. Hey. This is not giving family vibes, family man. Cam will wipe her up and be faithful to just her. But the problem is you're letting him have his cake and eat it too, and he's not going to do that and he said because you've allowed him free reign. Oh. And it's going to be very hard to rein that back in because he knows that you'll allow him to cheat freely with no consequences. Why would he want to throw that away by marrying you and then having yeah, to be beholden to a new set of rules? He's not going to want to do that. And I think it's really sad that a lot of women accept men like this because it's a reflection of how you really feel about yourself. I think the problem is... She feels like if she allows him to run the streets, he'll eventually come home and, you know, be faithful to her. Vintage. But that's not the case because he's done this exactly. time and time again to his other baby's mothers, his other relationships, you know, and he wants to be able to cheat in peace. That's his whole thing. He wants to be able to do him, cheat in peace. And I think that's cool that they can discuss this and have an open line of communication about it. But it's troubling because she can't do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that's where, to me, that's troubling. That there's one set of rules for Cam Newton, but another set of rules for Jasmine Brown. And to me, she's living in a state of la-la mm -hmm. land. She's living in denial about this situation. She's trying to this capitalize man doesn't off of respect that? her. He would Was that a flyer but that says, Baby Mama 3, Jasmine Watch Jasmine Brown, third time's a charm tour? Oh, this is embarrassing. And she's holding up the three. Girl... You are a walking embarrassment, Jesus Christ. Another set of rules for Jasmine Brown. And to me, she's living in a state of la-la land. She's living in denial about this situation. This man doesn't respect her. He respects the fact that she allows him to do whatever he wants to do. And the problem is Jasmine is currently a placeholder. She's good enough to have his baby. She's good enough to cook dinner, you know, to be his arm candy. But he doesn't see much more than that. Because if he was really taking the steps to wipe her up, they would not be going backwards where he can just cheat when he feels like it and all will be forgiven. So Jasmine is a placeholder. And what's going to happen is that he's still out here looking for his potential wife. And again, you heard Corey Holcomb say he's getting older. And so a lot of these guys, once they get older, they're 50 plus, you know, they have bad knees and gout and can't fuck like a rabbit. Then they want to settle down. Then they want a wife, okay? When they can't be out here smashing everything. Then they want to settle down and walk down the aisle when they have a bunch of, you know, health issues. And, yeah, you know, the money ain't money and like it once somebody was. younger who can help then take care of it. they want to settle down. The problem is the women who end up settling down with them are not getting the same men, the same status, the same money a lot of times mm. as if they would have had it when he was younger. You know, so he's going to be looking for a wife eventually to settle down with. She's hoping that it's going to be her, but I don't see it happening for them. She's allowed him too much space to do him. So I don't know. The whole situation is interesting. Like I said, a lot of people are talking about this online. But at the end of the day, these are grown folks. You know, she likes it. I love it. You know, and as long as they're being honest and they know what it is, I can't knock it. But I just hate the fact that relationships like this are extremely one-sided so with that being
A word. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, she like it. I love it. <laughs> I love that saying because it's like, hey, it's your life. Do what you want. I don't have my opinion on it, obviously. But, you know, go ahead and, and do what you like, girl. I hope it works out for you. Uh, but, yeah, very interesting dynamic that these two have and the dynamic that a lot of rich men want. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.